Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys? I hope you all are very good. First of all, I would like to say to all of you, Ramadan Kareem. And I uh, would like to also pray that Ya Allah help us and make it easy for us to draw closer to you in this Ramadan. And uh, I welcome all of you in this video tutorial. Today we are going to study about capacity and we are going to study capacity from Cambridge Primary Mathematics for grade 3 and it's going to be the first lesson of capacity. We have studied in the previous lectures the different basic concepts, some easy questions so that we can um, solve these capacity questions in a very easy way. So let's move to the exercise now. So there we have exercise questions. And we are going to study these exercise questions from topic capacity, which is on page number 120 or 28 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics for grade 3. So we are going to study these two questions today. And uh, I'm just reading a question for you. How much water is in this measuring jug? And uh, the second one, how a jug holds 2 liters of juice. And there are two parts in this question. First one, how many 150 milliliter cup of juice can be filled from the jug? And the second one is how much juice will be left in the jug after the after completing first question first part so let's move to the question number one so question number one is saying how much water in this measuring jug so you are going to have a picture on your screen yeah this is ex exactly the picture of the measuring jug and uh, they are asking about how much water is there in it so first you check the unit that all uh, measuring uh, jug unit is milliliter it's ml which is representing milliliter and there are uh, numbers from 200 to 1000 and uh, you can see that in there in the numbers there are some intervals and the water is between 400 to 600 so uh, first I need to check this intervals you can find the black lines and uh, this lines I'm saying interval because uh, I need to find out the exact value of a particular interval of single interval so if i observe or see so i will get to know that from 0 to 200 there are two intervals if i see in the one interval then on the second interval i will find 200 so again i need to find from 200 to 400 are they same so after 200 this one and on the second yes 400 yes same 400 to 600 yes one and the second 600 so you will see that every after every two in uh, interval you will find the difference of 200 first 200 then you will find 400 and between these two values you will find interval of 2 then 400 to 600 there are two uh, uh, intervals and their difference is also 2 when you add four, uh, 200 uh, plus 400 so you will get 600 same when you will get when you will add 600 plus 200 you will eight uh, you will get 800 and you will find also two intervals between 600 to 800 so as i know now that after every two interval uh, we will find 200 that means two intervals is equals to 200 ml every two interval is equals to 200 ml 200 plus 200 400 then 600 then 800 and then thousand and every uh, where you will find the difference of 200 in two intervals so i need to find the value of one interval because uh, the water is not uh, in between uh, not in uh, not exactly at 200 400 600 800 or thousand it is between 400 and 600 so i need to find out the value of one interval how i can find it as i know that 200 is having two intervals value and if, if i need to find one value so what i will do I will divide I will divide 200 by 2 let's suppose if I know the value of 2 pens that is 10 real and I need to find out the value of 1 so what I will do I will divide 10 by 2 so I will get the value of 1 pen that is 5 real same here I know the uh, value of 2 intervals that is 200 I need to find out the value of 1 interval so I will divide 200 by 2 when I divide 200 by 2 so the answer will be 100 right 2 will be cancelled by 2 uh, 2 into 2 1 2 and it will be 100 ml so uh, now I know that every single interval is 100 ml 
I need to check if I say the first one that is 100 then second one should be 200 yes it is 200 if I uh, after 200 if it is 100 then th the third will be 300 and the fourth should be 400 yes the fourth is 400 and the water is exactly at fifth interval and it will be 500 so I will say what is the answer here there is 500 ml water in this measuring jug right because there are one two three four five intervals in this water so you will say uh, in this measuring cup the water is at fifth interval and fifth interval reading is 500 ml so you will say there is 500 milliliter water in this measuring jug now I'll move to the next question so question number two is saying a jug holds two liters of juice so there's a jug whose capa capacity is two liter and you will find juice in it and there are two parts in this question part A and part B so in this slide we are going to solve part A then in the next slide we will solve part B so the part A is saying how many 150 ml milliliter that's mean how many 150 milliliter cups of juice can be filled from the jug so guys what is the question uh, giving you information and what question is asking you question is giving you information the capacity of jug and cups and they are asking you about that if a jug holds 2 liters of juice and then uh, then how many 150 milliliter cup you can fill full from this jug so uh, don't worry it is also a very easy question what you will do here first you have to uh, check what the information is provided by the question and also what is the basic fact here so I know that 1 liter is equals to 1000 ml so because the one the, the jug, jug unit is in liter and cup unit is in milliliter so I need to convert uh, 2 liter into milliliter uh, when I have same unit so it will be easy for me to solve the question when I have different units I cannot solve I cannot divide I can I, I cannot multiply in order to multiply divide plus minus anything I need to first uh, make their units same so it is better to convert 2 liter into milliliter because cups is in milliliter so for 2 liters of ju juice I need to convert into milliliter what I will do here I will multiply 2 by 1000 as 1 liter equals to 1000 so 2 will be uh, 2 liter will be 2 multiplied by 1000 and that will give me the answer that 2000 milliliter so I can say a jug holds 2000 milliliter of juice instead of 2 liter also now uh, what is the capacity of one cup the capacity of one cup is 150 milliliter so uh, now I know that one cup I can fill it by uh, one cup can only have 150 milliliter so if I starting filling first cup second cup third cup so I, if I filled first cup so that will be definitely going to be 150 in the second cup it will be 300 if I filled one cup so 2000 minus 150 the remaining will be 1850 if I fill two cup that will be 300 so if I minus 2000 minus 300 so that will be 1700 so I can find these values but uh, what I will do here I will uh, tell you later but if I change the value of this question just to make you understand in an easy way let's suppose a jug holds let's suppose just 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 for example to make you understand let's suppose a jug holds only 100 liters of juice and a capacity of cup is only 10 ml okay let's suppose a jug holds only 100 liters of juice and capacity of one cup is 10 ml so in one cup you can fill 10 ml 10 ml then second cup 20 ml 3 third cup 30 ml fourth cup 40 ml fifth cup 50 ml 7 cup 70 ml 9 cup 90 ml and 10 cup 100 ml so you will easily find the answer by adding 10 plus 10 plus 10 and you will check so you, you can easily say that sir there are there will be 10 cups of 10 ml you can fill from 100 liter of juice right but uh, you don't need to do same things what if I divide 100 by 10 because every uh, cup is having the capacity of 10 ml and the total capacity is 100 ml so I will get the answer right so same here if when I divide 100 by 10 I will get the answer 10 ml I don't need to add again and again so same here a jug holds capa uh, capacity a jug holds 2 liters of juice just mean 2000 ml 
and one cup can ha have a capacity of 150 ml so if i divide 2000 by 150 so i will get easily what is the answer so i will divide here 2000 by 150 why because one cup is having a capacity of 150 if one cup is having a capacity of 200 ml i will divide 2000 by 200 because one cup is having a capacity of only 150 ml so i will divide it by 150 and what is the total capacity of a uh, jug 2000 that's why i will divide it by i will divide 2000 by 150 so when you divide 2000 by 150 so 0 will be cancelled by 0 it will be 215 when you divide 15 you read the table of 15 you will not get 20 you will get 15 one time then after subtracting you will get 5 then put the 0 50 50 uh, again 15 3 45 5 remaining so you will get answer something 13 points you will get answers 13 point something right so as the question is saying the uh, 150 milliliter of cough juice can be filled this means it cannot be half, it cannot be quarter, it should be filled, right? So 13 point something means that you are sure that 13 cups are gonna filled. But for the 14th cup, it is not gonna filled. So you cannot answer it 14. And you cannot answer it in, in, in point because you have to answer in, uh, you have to answer the filled cup. So you will say the answer will be exactly uh, when you divide 2000 by 150, it will be 13.33. But you will say the 13 cups of 150 milliliter can be filled from 2 liter of jug because 14th one is not gonna full uh, fully filled it will be 13 point a little <coughs> more than quarter right now move to the next slide so there we have part b of the question number two and that is saying how much juice will be left in the jug so uh, this is related to the question number one after filling 13 cups how much juice you will have in the jug so you know that total juice was 2 liter or 2000 milliliter you can also say and uh, you fill 13 cups and every cup has a capacity of uh, how much milliliter 150 milliliter so you need to find out in 13 cups actually how much you filled the juice because you know the 14th one was not filled uh, fully filled right so in 13 cups how much you fill so it is very easy you know the one cup capacity 150 ml and you want to you want to find out for th 13 cups so when you multiply, multiply 13 by 150 so you will get the total uh, amount of juice in 13 cups so when you multiply 13 by 150 so you will get 1950 1950 and you can multiply uh, you can do simple multiplication for this 1950 is the uh, answer that uh, in 13 cups you have 1950 ml so they are asking how much juice will be left in the jug for that you uh, will have to subtract this 13 cup uh, amount of juice from the total juice so total juice is 2000 ml and you have filled 1950 ml so when you subtract 1950 from 2000 so you will find the amount of juice left in the jug and that is 150 only from 2000 when you minus from uh, 2150 so you will get the answer 50 ml so you can say amount of juice left in the jug is 50 ml and how you will write it you will write 50 milliliter juices left in the jug and this is going to the end of our video tutorial i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, all questions are clear to you you have to write this question in your notebook practice these question i'll meet you in the next video with a new lesson until then take care of yourself have a nice day and thank you so much for your precious time for watching this video bye bye